All right, well, we've got sports today. Yes. Um, it's going to be coming in two parts this week, so that's something to look forward to. On a Tuesday, I believe, the next uh, scheduled upload is. Let's go for it. All right, so this week in uh, Premier League football, we have... Let's do a, um, a table review, actually. I haven't done one of them before, so let's do that. Okay. Can I just ask a quick question? Mm-hmm. In terms of rules, how was foosball? Like the foosball. Like on oh no, the futsal is what I'm thinking futsal. of. How is futsal different to soccer All right, in well, terms of rules? Well, there's a few different rules. That's a good question, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Depends on what type of futsal you can play. You can play one with the walls. Okay. So you and then that there's no outs, so you kick it off the wall. Oh, so it's like Bit of squash in there. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So I want to play that. So you can use that. I just played it in an indoor field. Yes, back or in you school. can play like the traditional futsal, which is just like basically a basketball court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but it's a bit narrower maybe. I don't know. I, I think it both. is a slightly smaller court. Yeah. And anyway but and there's a D that you can't go in, so you yep. have to shoot from outside the D. Like European um, handball. Yes, like European handball, but I don't want to get into that. That's much more complicated than <laughs> futsal. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's five aside. I think yeah. It's oh, and four. Six, soccer is six aside. No, soccer is eleven aside. Oh Jesus! That, what's six aside? Six aside is just mini soccer, basically. <laughs> it's another version. Okay, I have heard that. Um, but yeah, but yeah. So futsal is four outfield players and one goalkeeper. Oh, okay. So you have five aside. Um, Fun fact, went to state level for futsal. Did you? There you go, yeah. I played futsal. I didn't like it because the ball's much harder. It is much harder. Played for Queensland, mate. Did you futsal. really? There you go. At what true, age? True fact, I was about, mate, in high school, 13. Oh, there you 13 go. 13 slash 14. That's grade 8 or 9, depending on when your birthday is. Uh, you're not wrong. There you go. All right, so, sorry to interrupt. That's all right, mate. <laughs> oh, and in futsal, there's no throw-ins, it's kick-ins. I do remember so that, it yeah. Out, you've got to kick it in. All right, <laughs> so there's a lot more emphasis on the lift of the ball. So you've got to <laughs> stick your toe under there and flick it up. All right. Imagine headbutting that cunt. Oh, mate. <laughs> mate. In my trials, mate, scored a couple of headers, mate. Does that, mate. How much does that hurt? Nah, it's adrenaline pumping, mate. <laughs> I don't even, even feel it. All right, so Liverpool still strong at the top and Manchester City. I should touch on this. They have been banned for two years from European uh, football. What did they do? For uh, violating the FFP, which is financial fair play. Oh, they, so they've been like underpaying players. No, they've been actually overpaying. Oh, So there is okay. no salary cap in football in some leagues there are, um, but they sort of have this governing body, the FFP, which is a part of FIFA, I believe. So... What happened is they have an owner. I don't know his name. He is an um, he is uh, an oil tycoon. He is like an uh, Arabic prince or something like that. Okay, that's a bit crazy. Yeah, he's like an oil. He's like a Saudi prince or something. Basically. Yeah. So he has like billions of dollars. And oh, you want to keep him around? He owns Etihad, the yeah. airline, and the sponsors for um, Manchester City are Etihad. Okay. So. What he was doing, he was saying, oh, Eddie Had is giving them all this money. But since he owns Eddie Had, he was just giving them money. <laughs> but you can't do that because you have to earn, like your revenue through ads or yeah. through sponsorships has to be legit. Oh, so, okay. like he was giving them extra money saying, oh, Eddie Had's doing this, but he owns Eddie Had. Yeah. So he could just give his own money to Eddie Had and then <laughs> Eddie Had gives it to them. So they violated that. So now they have been banned. They're one of the best teams in the world, mm. um, but they have been banned. So... Um, has great ramifications. They didn't have any points deduction as yet and they are going to fight it and they say they're going to beat it. So I don't know how, but they will appeal. And Well, my... if they've got the Saudi prince on their side, they can get some pretty <laughs> fucking they, good lawyers. They would be able to, but <laughs> I think they will appeal and they will get a reduction. It'll just be one year um, instead of two years, which there seems about right. Roma, was it Roma? No, AC Milan had to do that. Um, they okay. violated... Um, FFP, I believe. They did get kicked out. I think it was for FFP. Okay. But, and they got a $30 million fine, but I mean... Fucking him, Christ! To him, that's not much. That's like that's like $30. Um, like, literally. Like, if you do the math as it goes Imagine up. Imagine that. 
Like that amount is literally <laughs> life changing. Yeah. And it's just spare change to him. Like that's just It is. That's just a McDonald's meal. Yeah. There you go. Like, oh I'll take my friends to lunch. Boom. Thirty bucks. Alright. Well, anyway, so they are sitting second, but they are a massive twenty two points behind. Doesn't look like they can chase them. Leicester, Chelsea and Tottenham round out the top five. Tottenham finally found a bit of form, cracking back into that top five, leapfrogging Sheffield United, who are the biggest surprise of the year. And my boys, Everton, are all the way down in ninth, but four points behind fifth and six points behind fourth, which means we could go to Europe because Manchester City can't. So now the top yeah. six go instead of the top five Ooh. because they got kicked out. So if you come sixth, you go. Where normally you come fifth, you go. Yeah. So, um, so as it stands, Sheffield could be playing European Knights, which is quite unusual. <laughs> but this week we have... Uh, Chelsea Spurs to start off the weekend. Um, wherever you are in Australia, it is 10.30 p.m. Saturday night kickoff. I might stay up for that. Um, Everton do not play all the way until Monday the 24th at 2.30 in the morning. I will not be up for that. <laughs> um, but hopefully the Toffees can get a win. Actually, that's what I wanted the to do. The Toffees? Yeah, I'm going to call a name out and you're gonna t- I'm going to say their nickname and you have to tell me... What, who they are? Oh no! I'll okay. say the I'll say the name, and you tell me what their nickname is. That's easier because like, okay, you don't okay. know anywhere in the world where these things are. No, All right, so I'm kind of geographically retarded. All right, so Chelsea. What what's Chelsea's nickname? Well, I mean, I would assume it. Well, my mind is a bit like retarded. Right. But I was think like the cats because Chelsea cats. sounds like like. Cheshire. Oh. And there's a Cheshire cat. No, that's not it. They're the Blue Devils or just the Blues. How, how do you get to that? They're, I don't know. They're just blue. Their logo is blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, give me one more. I want another go. No, I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple. Okay, okay. Oh, I thought uh, you were moving on then. No, no, no. What about Sheffield United? Sheffield United. Can I get a description of their logo? Oh, yes, you can actually. It is a soccer ball. Yeah. And it's got two knives going, like two swords, like a pirate sword going up like that and the okay. ball's in the middle. What do you think they would be called? Well, like the, the pirates first come to, to mind. Right. But considering you said it, I don't think that's it. I'm going to say, say it's... it's not the pirates. I'm going to say it's completely unrelated to that. Right. So was it Cheshire? No, Sheffield. that's a cat. Sheffield. Sheffield United. Sheffield not to be United. confused with Sheffield Wednesday, who's another team. Sheffield Wednesday? <laughs> What is Wednesday in the name? Mate, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, oh, it's something to do with pies. You reckon it's something to do with yeah. pies? The, the meat pies. Yeah. No, it is the blades. Oh, like, okay. I, yeah. All right. I can what see about, how that comes from. All right. What about... Uh, uh, what, what? Wolves is quite an obvious one. Um, Wolfie. <laughs> Wolfie. <laughs> um, I'll do Newcastle. Newcastle. So okay. They, so there is sort of the crest in the middle is black and white. That's their colours. Yep. And there's a horse and a horse sort of going up into okay. the middle. And there's like a sort of like a flagpole in the middle. So like the knights. Mate, it's not a bad guess, but it's the magpies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where do you have magpies from? Because they're black and white, I suppose. Do they even have magpies over there? <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was an Australian bird. I don't know. All right, and last one, Manchester City. They're the ones that have done the naughty, naughty. <laughs> their, so what's their, their logo? logo doesn't have anything to do with it, but I will give you okay. the... Um, it's a ship, just in water. So it's like a circle, then there's water, then there's a ship in the middle. Okay. It's, not, it's nothing to do with the Manchester ship. City. Think of the word city. It does play on the word city. City. Okay. Um, the slickers. No, the citizens. Oh. There you go. All that's right. Just, no, that's fucking weird <laughs> that they got like nicknames and shit. Yeah. Then there's also the irons or the hammers, which is uh, West Ham. Then oh, got, yeah. Ham, hammer. Yeah. Then you got um, Everton, which is the toffees. Then you got... What? How? I don't know. Then you got the Gunners, which is Arsenal. The Canaries, which is Norwich. Wolves is Wolverhampton. Oh, uh, I wouldn't have guessed that. 
Lester is a f- are the foxes. Um, is there a famous fox named Lester? How did they get that? <laughs> I don't know. And I don't. And the hot and Tottenham hot spurs is like a, a spur, like a bird. Wait, this is like it's a, new, it's a new world. <laughs> I don't know what Burnley is. So someone shout outs to Burnley. Tell me what Burnley is. <laughs> Their logo is just like a big cruise ship as well, I think. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just a crest. Brighton. I think they're called the seagulls. Because okay. their thing is like a literal seagull. And Brighton <laughs> is like right on the beach. So maybe oh, it's the Brighton seagulls. Probably have a, a fair few of them over there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that is me for the week for part one. So be sure to tune in on Tuesday for part two. And be sure to tune in for more reviews um, and yes. later on during the week. There you go. Peace out. That's a wrap.